Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. Today's date is July 11th, 2013. I'm your host, Rob Dew, and here's a look at some of our top stories. Tonight, Obama signs an executive order to allow the shutdown of all U.S. communications. Meanwhile, the IRS is training their agents with AR-15s. And a Democrat representative in Illinois calls for troops on the streets of Chicago. That's up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Welcome back. Well, it's something Alex Jones has been warning you about since the passage of the Telecommunications Act of 1996, and President Obama has finally laid the final piece of the puzzle. Here it is out of the Examiner today. Obama signs executive order to allow shutdown of all U.S. communications. And this came out of a uh, link from RT. RT has reported that a secretly unannounced move, President Barack Obama signed an executive order giving the Department of Homeland Security, that's your friend Janet Napolitano, the ability to shut down all of the United States communication systems upon his request. Yeah, just upon his request. There it is. Now, the reasoning behind this exec executive order is that he feels the government may one day need to access all of our telephones, computers, cable communications in the name of national security which he's already doing right now. So I don't see what the difference is, why he even needed this executive order. Maybe it's just to add cover. He goes, oh, wow, the Snowden thing came out. I better put out this executive order just so we keep everything hunky-dory. But this is something we've been talking about for years. If you go back and watch Police State 4, Police State 3, um, I believe some of it's in 9-11 uh, Road to Tyranny, all of our communications are being grabbed, and they have been for a long time. They built rooms in the uh, telecommunications hubs of all the major phone companies to tap us anytime they want. They can do whatever they want, and this just lays it all out. This goes in hand with the Internet kill switch that's going on. And here's the title of his um, emergency statement, his executive order, Assignment of National Security Emergency Preparedness Communications Function. That's what he calls it. And... Um, the fact that our nation needs so much national security is puzzling, given the fact that President Obama has declared himself a leader on the front that is into terrorism in the U.S., and it seems like now more than ever, our nation is in peril, according to the State Department. But from who? From what? Who has the technology to attack us on our communications level? The Afghanis? The Iraqis? No, we've bombed them back into the Stone Age. Uh, the Chinese? No, they build most of the technology we use. Uh, maybe the North Koreans, but they probably can't even get their uh, rockets off the ground. Um, never in the United States history has a president given himself the authority to shut down the entire nation and immobilize the citizenry. And that was out of the Washington Examiner taking a page. Uh, the link actually originally came from RT, but you can go, all the links are there to go look at the executive order, read all about it. And I would encourage you to go check out Police State for the Rise of FEMA, either get the copy uh, at our InfoWars store at InfoWarsStore.com or go see it online. I believe it's on the Change the Channel website uh, on YouTube or on the YouTube site and you can watch it there. Um, towards the end there's a whole section on the NSA communication takeover and that was made back in 2009 even before Edward Snowden's time. We're gonna move on to some gun news now. Illinois rep calls for troops on Chicago streets. This is from Kurt Nemo, came out today. Representative Monica Davis, a Chicago Southside Democrat, has demanded that the governor of Illinois deploy state police and National Guard on the city's violence wracked streets. I am requesting with this press conference that Governor Patrick Quinn order the Illinois National Guard and Illinois State Police to come to Chicago and work with our Mayor Rahm Emanuel to provide safety for the children. I'm calling on the National Guard to come to Chicago and ride up and down the streets. You know, I was back in Chicago a couple years ago in 2010. I was watching the National Guard ride up and down the streets conducting different exercises of going door to door, searching for terrorists, searching for um, meth labs, taking out terrorists. Uh, they were doing training with the Boy Scouts. And they also had Polish troops and Polish Secret Service and Polish FBI in there on the act, um, you know, teaching them how we do things in the new Stasi America. But this is nothing new, calling for the National Guard to come out to Chicago streets because there's so many victim disarmament zones. No, back in 2008, Governor Rob Blagojevich on Wednesday signed a new law that will put tougher penalties on selling guns to minors, blah, blah, blah. But he also said he might be able to free up some resources to get uh, troops into hot zones. Okay, and that was back in 2008 he was talking about that. Now, 2010, two years later, 
Well, there's more calls. More state reps came out, and we actually have a clip of this from 2010. This is off a YouTube video called National Guard to Start Patrolling uh, Chicago Streets. State and, representatives, uh, let's go to that. State representatives John Fritchie and LaShawn Ford are calling on Governor Quinn and Mayor Daley to deploy the National Guard to help the city's police department combat the shootings, killings, and crime sprees plaguing some Chicago neighborhoods. When you have a police department that is offered help, uh, I'd be hard-pressed to understand why they wouldn't accept that help. As much as I'd like to have as much help as possible, I'm not sure that mixing the National Guard with local law enforcement is the solution. Yeah, there, there's a voice of reason there. Uh, yeah, mixing the National Guard is not the solution. When, when I was in Detroit uh, with Aaron Dykes, we were shooting a bunch of B-roll of the Detroit decay. We actually saw a sign there that said, uh, where are the troops for us? and uh, it was written in graffiti on a sign. They actually wanted troops in their streets as well because they think that's going to keep them safe. They think having troops running up and down the streets, pointing guns at people, terrorizing them, taking from their homes, like what just happened in Boston, what happened in Katrina, is going to keep people safe. And what did they do? They just went into the areas where they knew uh, people were living and had guns and went and just confiscated people's guns. And that's just going to make the crime rate explode. It always does. That's why Chicago has the problem that it has, because there's so many victim disarmament zones. And so what do we have now? We have uh, Jacob Sullum off, off of Reason 24-7 uh, blog. Illinois has become the last state to legalize concealed carry. Finally, some people are getting some sense into the people there in Illinois saying, hey, listen, we need to start offering you know concealed carry we need to start letting people arm themselves and protect themselves because if you don't only the criminals are gonna have the guns let's go into this article right now the Illinois legislature overrode governor Pat Quinn's veto of a bill allowing state residents who comply with certain objectives to carry concealed firearms Illinois is the last state to impose a blanket ban on concealed carry is complying with the December decision in which the US Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit said that that po policy violates the Second Amendment and just having a license, making you carry a license, violates the Second Amendment. It should be anybody's right to carry a gun to protect themselves. Oh, we'll go on. A, uh, uh, it is known that the shall issue policy as opposed to a may issue policy. The new law gives the Illinois State policy, uh, Police six months to make applications for concealed carry licenses available. And so what does Rahm Emanuel do in response to that? Um, he wants to create more zones, more gun-free little areas in Chicago where criminals know they can rob you because you're not going to have a gun because you're going to be following the law and not carrying your gun into that area. And the this is from Ammo Land. It was posted on Infowars.com. Rom trying to circumvent new Illinois concealed carry law with bogus gun-free zones. The Illinois legislature overrode Governor Pat Quinn's veto of a bill allowing state residents who comply with certain objectives to carry concealed firearms. And uh, Breitbart reported this on June 26. Illinois is the last state to impose a blanket ban on concealed carry is complying with the December decision in which the U.S. Court of Appeals said it violates the Second Amendment. Of course, that's what it does. This means a parent with a concealed carry permit who wants to walk their child home to keep him or her safe, well, they'll be out of luck because they will be following the law and will not be bringing their guns into the victim disarmament zones and the criminals who want to prey on people like that they're not going to follow the law anyway so they don't even really care but we have this thing where the government wants to be able to carry guns at all times and put them in your face and terrorize you one of these agencies is the IRS you know but they don't want you to have your gun they want you to jump through special hoops to get guns they want you to uh, you know bow down to all their victim disarmament zones now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.